What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Shiv here. Okay, so today we're going to talk about Sir Finley Mergleton. Have you ever sat there and gone, man, if I only had this hero power, man, if I only had that hero power, while playing a completely different class? Lord knows I have. And, well, Sir Finley has now broken some barriers and has allowed for even more interesting combinations to actually happen. So let's talk about this right now. Uh, it's a one mana, one three, battle cry, discover a new hero power. Yes, it's a battle cry, thus combining with brawn could create some interesting uh, things here, but the, the sad state is you can only pick one of them and it's always going to be on the second set. True fucking fact. So yeah, but still pretty damn good if you think about it. And there are many instances where taking somebody else's hero power or Another class's hero power could actually be really beneficial. So we're going to get in and, you know, cover some of them here. And we're also going to talk about some of the interactions. First up, we're going to go to Druid, all right? Now, the Druid's hero power is, you know, one attack and one armor. Now, normally when combined with the Savage Combatant, that equals out to three and one armor, which is not bad. But if you play Sir Finley Mergleton, here's what ends up happening. You can now... So let's say you get the hunter so that's four damage you could actually take to the face you get the mage that's one damage you can ping and then you know another two damage you could do whatever with and so on and so on and so on uh you could take the warlock hero power draw to your combo hey why not you could take the warrior one and armor the fuck up yes you can so it's, it's a really nice thing there uh and the fact is Almost any Inspire card benefits from Sir Finley Mergleton. Alright. Uh, sadly, Hunter, not so much. Uh, and the reason why Hunter, not so much, is, well, they really don't have any Inspire cards. And, well, their hero power is already pretty fucking OP. Don't fuck with something that works. Mage, Mage is another one. You can play this hyper-aggressive if you get the Hunter... You can go for the card draw of Warlock and get some really good benefit there. Um, so, yeah. If you're also running Fallen Hero... <sighs> see what I'm saying here? Go with Hunter, drop Fallen Hero, ba -ba bam It's so much fun you can have with that combination there. Paladin. Paladin's hero power pretty much is, you know, it's bread and butter in many ways, considering you have um, Quartermaster, which does really good to buffing all that. But, you know, sometimes you want to play a more aggressive deck, and your hero power is absolutely shit. So you play, uh, you know, you spam it in type deck, you throw down Finley in the beginning, try to pull for that Hunter hero power, and just keep going face, keep going face. Why not? Hunters do it. Anybody else can do it. Sure, why not? Uh, other than that, you can also change it out if you're going for a more mid-range play for, say, and, and hope. Now, this is going to be a hope play here. Uh, go for either armor up or the heal of the priest. That way you can kind of always, you know, push yourself to that end game scenario and go for the victory. Uh, let's be honest, most of the paladin builds that are based on the mid-range are very difficult to beat once they're established. All right. Priest is actually one of these ones that's a little difficult to pick uh, one for because most of their stuff is based around healing and getting a benefit. Your card draw mechanic uh, with Northshire Cleric is heavily dependent on healing, but you've got a lot of other healing things in here that you can kind of bank on. So if you really want to do that. Now, if you're going for a more aggressive build, i.e. an aggro priest. I know, it's a very rare thing, and only a few crazy bastards like Noxious and myself have ever really tried to push this as a concept. You could use Sir Finley Mergleton to change your hero power to, say, oh, I don't know, the Hunter hero power, or maybe even uh, the Druid, or um, Rogue in a Pinch, I guess. Um, and actually, that's another really cool thing, if you think about it. One of the biggest problems that priests have always had is when they use mind visions and thought steals against certain classes, i.e. rogue. They get deadly poison. What the fuck are they supposed to do with the deadly poison? Well, now Sir Finley Mergleton kind of takes care of that problem. Oh, hey, look. Hey, I'll take the rogue here. Power. Ba bam I get a fucking three attack weapon. How good do you feel then? Pretty damn good. So yeah, good times. 
All right, now rogues. Rogues' hero power is ironically the only hero power that has ever been changed. Not even gonna lie here. It actually was changed. Now there are very few circumstances you'll really want to change your hero power because it's really crucial to most of your board wiping mechanics. So you got to be really careful with that. Long as you're willing to, you know, forego having a board wipe that you can easily pop, pop off versus having to equip a weapon, you. Eh. You know, it, it gets a little dangerous. But if you can get past that little flaw, you can have a lot of fun with it. Shaman. Now, this is the one that I really want to talk about here. Aggro Shaman has become a real part of the meta. I, it's disgusting. It hits you with a ground game. Once you get, you know, past that ground game and try to set up defense, it just unloads spells on you in... It's disgusting. This is probably one of the main reasons why Reno Jackson decks are very, very popular. True fucking fact. Anywho, but I want to talk about a really fun interaction here. Now, we all know Doomhammer plus Rockbiter equals get wrecked, right? But... There are other ways of actually getting a little bit more damage out of a Doomhammer without using a Rockbiter. The Druid Hero power turns that doom hammer into six damage that's pretty damn good pay two mana once this is already in play congratulations have a fireball great interaction it's actually led to me winning several damn games so when you're playing uh an aggro shaman and your options you know are pretty crap always pick the druid one if if you know the other two are not either aggressive or pull for cards all right always pick the druid just because the combination of doom hammer plus that is disgusting could you imagine what happens when you know a druid plays blinktron and gets doom hammer oh i've seen it happen it's disgusting you want to talk about some bullshit there you go holy crap all right warlock do you ever really want to replace your card draw do you, do, do you ever really want to do that? Well, no, not really. I mean, when you type in Inspire, which is pretty much what you're going to want to do when looking up any of these things. Oh yeah, I also forgot, you know, Murloc Knight, pretty much any hero power can really accessorize that. Uh, Inspire plus this is also really funny. Uh, and I did kind of skip over Paltris, and I apologize for that. Paltris is a card that seems really good on paper, but the problem is it's pretty much a one-trick pony. But if you can kind of get another hero power to where you'll almost always get to be able to use it, then it gets a little bit better um, in marginal ways. But you really have to have an already established board, and this pretty much just seals the deal, short of a Twisting Nether or Deathwing. Um... And of course, you know, the Thunder Bluff Valiant, also really good too. So Sir Finley Mergleton works in those kind of decks as well. Void Crusher is a really scary one, uh, just to be completely honest with you. Uh, Ogamar Aspirant, eh, not really. Though Sir Finley in Warrior does allow for a more consistent aggro warrior. GG, well played. Okay, so Lowly Squire gets a benefit off of it. Uh, the Argent guy, fuck off, not really. Sure, the the Lieutenant gets one. Uh, Coliseum Manager, not really. Uh, Dragonhawk Rider, yeah, sure. I mean, almost everything gets a benefit off of it. Nexus Champion Sarad gets a benefit because of it. So, yeah, Sir, Fir Sir Friendly Merkleton is a really powerful card. I mean, my God, just think of the combinations you could come up with. Just the Doomhammer plus Druid here power alone is pretty fucking disgusting. All right. So, yeah, that's all for this video. If you like these videos, please like, subscribe, keep your mind open, keep exploring and trying new things. See what boundaries you can push in Hearthstone. Till next time, this is Shiv saying stay safe, have fun, and may RNGesus bless you. Good night.